Hi, so I have a fun new line for you guys today. I have the True Blend line from CoverGirl. So these are the True Blend products. This is the um, liquid, this is a liquid foundation, and this is a concealer. And in that same line, but these are called True Magic. This is the Skin Protector Mattifier, and this is called the Luminizer. So I have tried out these products, and I also, um, filmed myself putting them on, so stay tuned for that, which will be right after this short review. So I have tried out these products and I really have enjoyed them. My favorite product out of the bunch has been the concealer. Um, I felt that this has stayed on all day and covered up my blemishes, and I really feel that the mattifier helped do that. It definitely kept this in place as well as the foundation and any other makeup that I had applied on there. Um, so in terms of foundation, um, I'm very picky about foundation. I do like the consistency of this. It comes out uh, sort of liquidy, but it stays on very well throughout the day. Um, I may have to change the, the color that I use during the summer when my skin gets a little bit dark, uh, darker, but for right now, this is a great shade. And I just really enjoy this. It, it goes on very well. Um, it dispenses well. It doesn't dispense too much or too little, which has been a problem with other foundations. So I really enjoy that and really enjoy the concealer. Um, these uh, products I do like, but they're kind of just like extras for me. It's probably not something that I would go out and buy in the future just because I'm not a huge bronzer person. And the mattifier, uh, like I said, it, look, it works great along with the concealer and keeping everything in place. But I just feel that for me, it's not like a necessary product to go out and buy unless I, you know, have a little bit of extra budget uh, when I need to replace it. But that is what I think of all the products. And if you have any questions, let me know. And um, here is me putting on the makeup. You could see how I do it, my routine, and how everything works out. All right. So I'm going to show you guys some new products and I'm going to apply them for you and show you how they work. Um, so I'm going to get right to it. So the first thing I'm going to start with, um, these are all new products. So this is the True Magic by CoverGirl. And this is the Skin Perfector Mattifier and this is how it looks. And just so you know, the pad does come behind in the packaging. So if you go to the store and it doesn't look like that, that's why. So I'm just going to go ahead. And you can either put this under makeup or over makeup. I just prefer to put it under. So that is why the pad is a little dirty because I did try it over makeup before. So just get a good amount on there. Uh, make sure you don't get too much because it does go on a little bit greasy if you do. Um, and then I just apply it all over. And you could see how it kind of gets gunked up a bit if you put too much on there so you can just grab a, a little bit at a time that would be best and I already have my uh, lips and my eyes done just for the purpose of this video I'm just showing my face because I don't have any new eye products or lip products to show you guys today um, so I just put this all over and it just keeps the uh, makeup look a lot better a lot longer so that's that and from there I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use this true blend fix stick and it's just a concealer and I'm just gonna put this uh, where it's red on my face which is usually around my nose and on my chin and any pimples I might have and then I also go ahead and put it under my eyes. And I'm just gonna rub it in. So that's just to help a little bit. I just rub that in um, I'm going to put the foundation on anyway, so that will cover up the rest. So the next step is the foundation, and this is um, also the True Blend. And this is the Classic Ivory. And 
it just tells you the details on the back. So that's where you will find the color information and it will also be on that little sticker on the front. So this is a great color for me now, but in the summer I will have to go up to a deeper shade. <clears throat> so what I do is I just pump this into my hand and I just use a little bit because uh, I can always add more later. I'd rather not waste. And then I get my beauty blender and I just dip it in there. And this is a very liquidy um, foundation too. So just be aware that uh, of that. And I just rub it in. So things might not come out perfect in this video just because I do have another mirror that I will check everything in after because <clears throat> I don't want to be going out with, you know, any splotches or anything. Just make sure you get all around your face so that there's no lines. And if I ha usually have any extra, um, which is usually just a little bit, I just go back under the eyes and around the nose because that's usually my problem areas where it wears off the fastest. That and my chin as well. All right. So then I am going to use the luminizer and this is the True Magic the Luminizer Skin Perfector Shimmer and that's again how it looks but again the pad comes in the back of the package when you go to purchase it and this you're just going to apply uh, over makeup for like a glow so I don't put this everywhere um, usually just my cheeks and you know, sometimes I put on my nose just to accent it a little bit um, so that's how the color looks and I just grab a little bit on there. A little goes a long way with this type of stuff, even though it won't look like it. Um, you may be like, oh, well, I can't really see it on myself in the mirror, but people will see it. So you don't want to use too, too much. And, you know, if you're going to be using a blush, then you really don't need too much of this. So I'm just going to go ahead and just put it on the cheekbones a little bit. And then usually I just very little bit go in this area here um, just so that there is you know no dull spots but I don't really want people to see the shimmer in those areas so I just do that that and then the last step is just to put blush on because I've already done everything else so I don't have a new product to show you unfortunately this is just my messy blush that I have and usually, like, with blush, I usually just have to blend in in afterwards because for some reason, blush, it's the only thing that likes to adhere to my face. The foundation, yeah, doesn't like to stay on my face, but the blush does. So just rub that in. All right. So that is my finished look.